right. Oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so I have a couple things at the top before we get going. We applaud the bipartisan coalition of senators who came together to pass the supplemental agreement this morning, which protects America's national security interests. This bill will enable the Ukrainian people to defend themselves against Russia's ongoing, brutal, and unprovoked attacks. It will provide Israel with what it needs to protect its people against Hamas terrorists, and it will deliver life-saving humanitarian assistance for vulnerable people around the world, including innocent Palestinian civilians suffering in Gaza who have nothing to do with Hamas. The President urges the House to send this legislation to his desk immediately so that he can sign it into law. The costs of inaction are rising every day. America's leadership matters and the world is watching, is watching what the White the, the House Republicans do. I also want to highlight a win for the American people against Big Pharma. Yesterday, a district court in Texas dismissed a case in, it, it brought against President Biden's Medicare drug price negotiation program. When President Biden came into office, he vowed to lower health care costs for American families. By bypassing the Inflation Reduction Act, the President and Congressional Democrats finally allowed Medicare to negotiate lower prescription drug prices for seniors, while every single Republican in Congress voted against it. Despite Big Pharma's attempts to block the program, the administ this administration is moving forward on fully implementing it. The bottom line is, Americans shouldn't be forced to pay two to three times more for their prescription drugs than other developed nations. President Biden will continue to stand up to Big Pharma and take action to lower health care costs for millions of senior, seniors and their families.